Hey BBs, it's Plastic, and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing really, 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 really fierce. In today's video, I'm so excited to share with you guys. I have finally got my claws on the Rainbow High Series 5 Kim Nguyen. I think that's how I pronounce her name. It's Vietnamese, and I just, um, I tried looking it up. But, um, I think it's pronounced Nguyen. Um, so I'm super excited about this doll. This is honestly my favorite Rainbow High doll from the Series 5 doll lineup because... I loved her so much when we first saw the pictures of her, but then when it came to the actual physical doll in stores and getting people online, her bangs were so crazy, ma. And honestly, I haven't been super, super, super into Rainbow High as of recently. The only other only other Rainbow High doll I have from Series 5 currently is Miss Michelle Whitman, I think. Whitman. I cannot remember her last name either. But um, this doll's cute. I've just been dragging my feet a lot with the Series 5 dolls because like, there's no race to get them, to be honest. And... They'll be here for a while and i'm actually super happy that i waited for this doll because i was in walmart i wasn't even intending to buy a doll i was just going down the toy aisle because every time i'm in a new city i was at my grandmother's house i like to see what they have in like their terms of dolls because i know every um kind of like you know walmart and whatever has different stuff and they were fully stocked ma like they had everything and they had this doll and i was super like gagged by her because i've never seen bangs on this doll as straight as this these bangs are they're always like mad crooked um, but I was just so excited to find this doll, and that, then I, like, checked her barcode, because I'm like, well, her bangs are kind of perfect, like, I kind of want to buy her, like, no matter whatever, even if she's full price. This doll was $19. No other Series 5 dolls were on sale, only this one, and, like, that was meant to be. Like, that was such a meant-to-be moment, and I'm so happy that I finally got my claws on her, so without my little story ahead, Michelle's gonna fall, of course. I didn't know why I stood her up like that. It's time to look at Miss Kim Nguyen. The box is kind of the new Rainbow High box where we have like the art on the side. There's art in the back. The doll, we have some accessories. Um, I guess here's her barcode. She's been out for a long time, but she is in stores. So um, yeah, on the back of the box, we have Kim and Aiden. Uh, cool, I guess. Um, there's a little thing. Um, she's a fashion designer focus. Um, nothing really crazy on this box, but I'm going to get her out of it because I've been wanting, again, I've been wanting this doll since we've seen the stock photos, but I just haven't been able to get her because she has like really bad bangs but this one looks perfect like i'm so gagged okay i'm gonna get out of this box and i'll be back with you guys in just a minute yep quickly though before we get into miss kim i want to show some of this gorgeous back art that i never ever really seen i don't think i've ever seen this before look at how gorgeous she looks that's crazy anna like she looks so stunning i wish these were colored in though to be honest but like they're like this has so much like life to it like this one kind of looks dead but like she looks Stunning there. I want that as a phone wallpaper. But now let's getting into Miss Kim. This doll has a couple fun things with her. Like usual Rainbow High fashion, she comes with a little comb to match her color. So it's a kind of like a really electric blue. And the stand is the exact same color and it has like the glitter in it. And there's hair on it. Where is the hair? Is she shedding? I don't know. Maybe it's my dog's hair. Who knows? And as we know, as of like currently, Rainbow High has been kind of ditching the second outfits and giving us a lot more accessories to kind of play around with, which is kind of fun. Um, we have a sewing machine, a makeup palette, some brushes, a phone, and hangers. Kind of ironic that we're getting hangers with no, what I don't really care actually, um, but no second outfits, but that's fun. Now, taking a look into the real, the reason I bought the doll is for the doll. Um, we have stunning, 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 stunning mug. Y'all, let's get into the face mug. This might be, I don't even know the face molds, to be honest with you guys. I have no idea. It looks like something new to me, but it's really, really, really pretty. We have this really nice electric blue kind of eyeshadow, eyeliner, wing moment. It's kind of faded out with a gray smoky. This, I actually like the coral lips on this doll. Usually, I haven't been, like, enjoying coral lips on dolls recently, but it works on her. And, like, she has, like, the blush. Her skin tone looks good with the electric pop. It looks amazing. Her eyebrows are a little bit wonky of mine, but, like... You don't really, I don't really see it that much, so to ignore it. But look at those eyes. That's just so amazing to me. The eyes are placed evenly, like, I'm gagged. Also, look, taking a look back at the hair. It's like a metallic nylon, I want to say. It, maybe it's not, I don't really know. But it's super gelled. It goes all the way down to her feet-ish. And it's, like, really gelled for no reason. I don't understand why we're gelling dolls with straight hair just like didn't need to happen but we have these bangs my bang we're gonna have to like gel the bang a little bit down and cut it a little bit but it's pretty much you know even for what it is for this doll i'm pretty happy with them i'm really 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 ecstatic to finally found a kim with nice bangs this diva though is also wearing these really cool earrings it's like oh my there's like a little gem in there it's r i think this is also an r 
yeah, it's really pretty. I like the earrings. It's a nice little touch, to be honest. Her outfit, though, is very interesting. We have, it's like, on her shoulders, it's like this little, like, denim jacket with the black leather. I'll take the jacket off the little, like, ties for now. But this is how it looks right on out of the box. I honestly like it a lot better than this. And I'm really sad to kind of have to cut these ties. But, um, we're gonna do it for the review because whatever. Um, and I also want to see what this dress looks like without it. Um, I just know that this jacket's never, ever, ever gonna stay on the her like this ever again. Or maybe- Oh, it will! No! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Thank you, Rainbow High. Thank you, Rainbow High. I forgot they did- They did this with Heather Grayson. Where they have- Oh. Well. Okay, well. Okay, okay. This one- This one might work. Okay, okay. Um. So wait, how did they do that? They just tied it in? Okay. Um, okay, well, here is the <laughs> leather jacket. It's like denim. It's really cool. Um, it has, you know, it's it's nice. It has like the cool little belt loop, the zipper detailing moment, the little studs are really nice. Um, and then here is what the dress looks like. It's kind of strapless. There's some like dust on it, I guess. So maybe it'll stain. Let's hope it doesn't stain. Yeah, okay. We should be good. There's just like a little bit of dust. But the dress is really, 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 really cute. I love the we denim. We have studs going all the way down it. But mine already has like this one that's kind of flaking off a little bit. If y'all can kind of see. Oh, no, it's this one. This one, I noticed this in box. So careful with these, y'all. If you're playing with them, um, they're probably all going to fall off anyway. We have a little rainbow high tag, though, really here, which is super cute. And the little buttons on the back. Oh, my. Wait. One. This has studs and whatever. Um, you don't really see the back anyway, but I guess one side has studs and one side does not have studs. And then we have little pockets. Um, so excited. Let me put this jacket on her. As predicted, though, I don't really love the jacket with the dress. Something about it looks, like, bulky. And, I don't know. But it's a cute jacket. It's very high quality. I'll, I'll give them the points of it. It's nice in quality. Just, personally, I liked it better on her shoulders. So, I'm just gonna have to, like, sew the little, like, elastic band back to her, um, jacket. Because... I think it looked so cute before, but, um, we also have these right now, cute, really, like, nails, They're, like, the longer mold. They're not a lot better than mine, because I busted my thumb, so, um, there's a band-aid on her. Um, so, yeah, she's, I love the, I love long nails. I love the long nails, I love the drama of it all, and it's painted on both sides, because Mama has the quality, Mama has the budget. Um, I love, I, like, love for these long nails. Like, no other doll brand is doing long nails, like Rainbow High is. OMG started it, but they kind of use the same stuff like the same length these are fierce these are killer these are claws i live for them and we also have these little shoes these are kind of basic but they're cute they're little strapless they have rubber bands that hide rainbow high um and they're like they're square to i will say the square toe is really cool um they're really really nice they're just nothing too crazy but i think it's time maybe we should get the accessories unboxed and look at those in a better look because right now they're just in this plastic jail cell her hair is shedding like normal in high fashion, but we're taking a look at these accessories, so ignore the hair and ignore the, my desk being a complete mess all the time. We have the little sewing machine, which is, like, I think, the exact same mold as, was it Jet Dawson's? Yeah, this does, like, the thing. I think this is the first time we've seen this sewing mold, sewing machine since Jet Dawson. If that's incorrect, please let me know. I don't really remember, to be honest, but it's cool. It, like, works and everything. It's a really, really nice, high-quality piece. We also have the iconic, like, coat hanger and pant hanger it's like obviously in um miss kim's color it's like a darker blue it's fine it's cool we live for it we have a nice little eyeshadow palette which i got a fingerprint in so ignore that cute shades but i want to say something really quickly that when opening this they put tape on everything so if y'all have goo gone from your monster high dolls <laughs> i would definitely suggest using some goo gone or some sort of like soapy residue to remove the tape stickiness um and that was just maybe that was mine again there's a little fingerprint ignore that y'all um, but yeah, there's me. Hello. Um, so yeah, nice little mirror. We also have, obviously, if you do makeup, you need brushes, like, duh. The iconic rim behind brushes, the powder brush, the, I guess, like, foundation cream brush, and, like, an eyeshadow br brush. Um, and then the last thing we have is this little iPhone. These are my favorite accessories ever. I love the phone accessories. You can never get too many of them. This one is also sticky, though. Um, we have Kim. She's on her Instagram feed. Miss Mama got 2,000 likes, looking fabulous, hashtag fashion, hashtag, hashtag rainbow high, she's a fashion designer, and we have her phone case, I love, again, I love these little, um, accessories, oh, this is cool, it has glitter in it, what does the R mean, she has R's all over the place, it's not, it cannot be just her rainbow, Kim, why, why does it in the K, whatever, um, but you can put the phone case in the phone, and it's like the thing, I love these phones so beyond much, I think they're so fun, they're like, you, I never get tired of them, to be honest, because every single person has a phone, so like, you can make endless of these. It's so cool. 
But for now, that was kind of the end of Miss Kim's review. This doll has a lot of fun things. I think she's originally like $26.99, if I'm remembering that correctly, around $30-ish, but less than $30. Um, I think she's a good deal. I think she's fun. I think definitely waiting for a sale is kind of... We're already, what, a couple months into her release. I think she's definitely going to be hitting those, like, school sales sometime soon. Like, definitely, like, you know, the holiday sales are going to be happening. So, if you guys want to wait off on this doll and wait for the perfect bangs, again, recommendation for this doll, getting her in person because she does have a lot of bang issues. I've seen so many dolls which just have horrible bangs. That's my biggest note about this doll is that she's just hard to find a good one of her. If you guys want to take the risk, I have an Amazon link in the description below um, just because, I don't know, like... Everyone can get everything on Amazon, but uh, I don't know. I think she's definitely a doll. I think she's definitely really cute. I think she's definitely a great addition to my collection. Definitely one that I'm eager and eager and eager to add and, you know, wash this gel out of her hair and, like, fix up the bangs and make her look all cutesy patootsy and make her look all gorgeous, like, you know, normal rainbow high fashion. I think she's fun, and I think she's cool. Um, But I want to know your thoughts, though, in the comments below, though. What do y'all think about Miss... Kim Nguyen from the, um, I guess, what, Rainbow High 5, Series 5. Um, how do y'all like Series 5? I know they've been out for a long time. Have they grown on you? Have they not grown on you? Um, do you have any in your collection? And if you do have any of the Rainbow High Series 5 dolls in your collection, who's your favorite and who's your least favorite? I'm dying to know. Also, though, please let me know if you guys have any of the dolls. What Rainbow High doll should I get next from the Series 5 dolls? I have Michelle and now Miss Kim. I want to know, though, your th Oh, my book and them both holding the phones. So like, y'all are chronically online. Um, but I just want to know your thoughts and opinions and everything. Um, so thank you guys, though, so, so, so much for watching today's video. It was so much fun with you guys. And I cannot wait to catch y'all, though, in the next one. Love you all. All endlessly. Bye. Mwah. Bye, guys.